Welcome back. This week, Harris County Democrats giddily greeted each other. Happy Blue Year! As dozens of office holders and judges from the Progressive Party consummated their November sweep with a mass swear in ceremony at NRG Center. They were led by Harris County Judge Lena Hidalgo, who later stunned the political establishment by pledging to reject campaign contributions from PACs funded by anyone doing business with the county. Hidalgo said she doesn't want her administration to have even the appearance of a conflict of interest. Our good friend Rice political scientist Mark Jones called the move, quote, audacious, highlighting the unseemly underbelly of Harris County and Houston politics. Somebody who knows about that. Tamara Bell, what do you think of Hidalgo? Yay, life? Lena, yay, Lena. The, the, that was the best way to start the new year, was being in NRG and watching that swearing in ceremony. Her speech that she gave was so embracing. So often you hear county leaders say, hey, yeah, we collect taxes in the city of Houston, but we only care about the unincorporated. When she says she's going to have public engagement mm -hmm. with all citizens across all Harris County, it warmed my soul to hear somebody in leadership say that. And I promise you, when you come in saying no thank you to the money, mm -hmm. post an election, that puts her on a level unseen at Harris County. Mm -hmm. Commissioners are their own little mayors of their own <laughs> little towns with their own big kitties. And she said, don't build me one with those layers. That Great is job, awesome. Lena. I'm so proud of you. Great job, Lena. But this all started with Tony Busby. When he announced that he's running for mayor and he would take no political contributions, this is a trend started by Tony Busby, and more no. politicians need to jump on it. Uh, it. The appearance of impropriety is bad, and no contributions uh, from... Uh, from people is the way to go. It's the first elected official to ever say that. That's somebody want to be elected. This is somebody elected. Does this change things, Tony? Oh, totally. And, and I love the contrast because now we have a young Latina Democrat running Harris County. I hope this becomes the epitome <clears throat> of a non-corrupt system. In contrast to Republican corruption from the presidential level on down, I want to remind folks that Texas uh, Republican Paxton is indicted. He should have cleared his name by now. He should have let the whole issue run its course. I also remind people too, Pima County in Arizona, they self-regulated and got rid of racist Sheriff Jor Arpaio, who was a convicted racist, pardoned by the president, but the courts will insist that he keep his record on file. So we self-correct or we correct you. you Got to point out that corruption is a nonpartisan thing. Well, you got to right, right, right. Yes. <laughs> right. <laughs> this is a little difficult to all this righteousness yeah. that's being spewed here on the stage when this is actually quite duplicitous in that Lena Hidalgo's um, most of her many a big portion of her contributions in her campaign was from out of state money and and third party money. Um, Fine if you want to say you don't want to take money from contractors and people who do business with the city. I'd rather have a local money coming in that we could be accountable for as opposed to the 580 plus thousand dollars that came in from George Soros, the Kim Og campaign. Um, this is what we're looking at. Beto had over $138 million come in from out of state money um, and big Democrat money from across this country. This is the way she will future fund her campaigns. Uh, this is a very cheap um, campaign tactic. A lot of people say they don't want to take money from contractors. It's a very popular thing to say. Tony Busby didn't invent that. Um, the bottom line here is that fine, Lena says she doesn't want to take, Judge Hidalgo says she doesn't want to take money from contractors that people do business with the city. That's okay because she's going to get big Democrat money that's going to come in to help her save her seat in okay. four years. The term is pay to play. Yeah. Yes. And that's yeah. what, what people well, want to get away from. you don't think the Democrat progressive yes. agenda is pay yes. to play? That's hypocritical. Yeah. Well, we'll see. Okay. So congratulations to all those who were sworn in. I was there. It was wonderful. It was amazing. It was good to see a room of different black and brown and female faces. But Lena Hidalgo is trying to do something in a direction that she believes her position should be in. There's nothing wrong with saying what she's going to do for herself. This is not an attack on those people who are not going to go the same way as she is, but she's also the first time being an elected official. She has not yet had a campaign where she has had to run, where she's trying to raise the money when somebody's trying to primary her or whatever. But I have to say, to say that the progressives are pay to play and all this kind of stuff, this is the kind of partisan crap 
that we don't need in Harris County. This is what we need to focus on. We have a newly elected county judge that has said that she is going to be transparent, mm -hmm. not only in the way that she distributes the $5 billion that she's in charge of, mm -hmm. but also in the way that she forms her committees and her task force to make sure that it's all inclusive. There's nothing more that we can ask for than someone that has the ambition to do right. Okay, Ben, I know the Amigos talked about this. Uh, does this raise the bar or is this just kabuki theater? Well, I mean, uh, most of the pushback is going to be from incumbents and they're Democrats. Mm -hmm. So your problem is going to be L. Franco Lee and Rodney Ellis. L. Franco Lee did. I, I mean, dead. I'm sorry, uh, the other commissioner. Then now we have Adrian Garcia. We Adrian, have new commissioners Adrian, now. Adrian, also yeah. accepted yeah. PAC money in his campaign. What's my, wrong with that? Hold on, hold on. I, I want to hear from sorry. Ben. My yeah, bad. Nothing wrong with okay. that. Look, um, it's, it's a incumbents who are going to object to it. There are now more incumbents who are Democrats mm -hmm. than Republicans. Those are the people you need to pick a fight with. And as far as where we go with county commissioner, I hope she does well. I'm willing to give her a chance. Thank I could you. care less if she's Hispanic or African American or a woman. That's not a criteria for me. I just want somebody to stop the flooding fix the flooding problems, the I infrastructure, think. let's go. But she hasn't demonstrated, and she certainly doesn't have the background needed in order to get the job done. Okay, final word, someone? Go well, ahead. I wanted to uh. say, I believe that the swearing in was paid for by taxpayer money, and to say happy blue year more, at once and more than once on taxpayer okay. dime disenfranchises <sighs> a good portion of Harris County, and that was a sad way to start the new year. Okay, when now, I, oh, it took oh, over, oh, when the oh, Republicans oh, took over in 94, oh, it was happy red year. No, it was when not. they swept yes, out, when they Happy swept out every okay, Democrat let's judge. Happy it was Happy Blue Red Year, please. Multiple times at that swearing so, so, on so, taxpayer since money. I'm one of the proud Happy Blue Year people that I even posted it when I was so happy to be blue. There is nothing wrong with freedom of speech. What does that say that the county tax dollars don't have to pay for what you if say? The partis, if it's not part party, Harris County Let me tell you Democrat Okay, party, ladies, we got to leave it right it, there. We're going to problem. break. Up next, what you think actually matters. Feedback from What's Your Point viewers is front and center after the break.